Hey, I'm Melissa. We all experience shame and regret over our mistakes sometimes, but is it right that we continue feeling this way forever? Like a lifelong punishment for our sins? Today, let's find out what the Bible says about shame and regret. The Bible is full of stories of people feeling shame and regret. It's like it's a tale as old as time that goes all the way back to the first humans God created. Adam and Eve had a perfect, sinless relationship with God in the Garden of Eden. After they chose to invite sin into their lives, they really hurt their relationship with God. While God did forgive them and provide for their needs, they still lost their home. They must have regretted being kicked out of paradise due to their actions. In Matthew 26, we find the disciples going for a walk with Jesus up to the Mount of Olives. Jesus turned to them and foretold that they would all scatter away from him that night. Peter exclaimed, I would never. And Jesus said, actually, you will, three times. Peter was adamant, I'd rather die than deny you. Sure enough, that night, one of Jesus' friends gave him up to the authorities. Later, when Peter was questioned, he denied that he ever knew him because he was afraid for his life. After the third denial, Peter wept bitterly because of his betrayal. When Jesus was resurrected and appeared to the disciples, he never condemned Peter by saying, you said you'd die with me, but you lied. No, Jesus never rebuked him. Instead, he forgave him, restored him, and gave him the task of shepherding his people and proclaiming the gospel of salvation. Peter eventually overcame his feelings of shame and regret, but it was only with Christ's grace. As he grew in his faith over the years, Peter came to realize that he was not condemned by his past. He experienced the release of shame and regret once he understood that he'd been fully forgiven. We all experience shame and regret over past sins at some point, sometimes for a long time. Sometimes we feel like we have to keep feeling guilty because we're such terrible people. But the Bible says that if we have accepted salvation through Jesus, our sins have been forgiven. When feelings of self-doubt and self-loathing come around, remind yourself that God's forgiveness covers all past sins. There is no need to feel shame and regret over what once was. We are not defined by our sinful past because we're new creations in Christ, made to serve Him faithfully. Satan would love to tempt you with a good, old-fashioned pity party over how awful of a person you used to be. He would love to make you feel useless to God or like a failure of a person. But temptations to dwell on past shame and regret will only hurt us, weaken our spirits, and keep our faith from growing. You are not a failure, but a conqueror through Christ's love. Not only has God forgiven all your past sins, but Jesus has covered any present and future sins too. God has forgiven our past. It's time we do the same. He has given us hope for our future. So instead of focusing on past regrets or lingering shame, let's turn our focus towards the grace, mercy, and new life we have in Jesus. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We answer questions like this every day, so head over to 412teens.org to ask your own spiritual questions.